so we are done making the bootable usb for kali let's just insert it in the usb port of this laptop now i'm gonna press the power button and press f12 to boot into boot menu here we have the boot menu as you can see the pen drive is shown up here send disk usb just press enter now you have the couple of option here live amd live amd 64 failure forensic mode we don't have to do anything with that if you want to run the car linux live you have to select the first option but we have to install it so i'm gonna go with graphical install not install graphical install you can choose any middle it's the same thing but i'm just gonna go with graphical install you get the better ui on it and now i'm gonna select english your touchpad may not work so you should keep a mouse around wireless mouse just like i do right now or you can just use the tab and enter to set up your configurations and set up Kali Linux, United States, American English. Let's go ahead. You won't run into any CD-ROM error, just like you do in some cases, because we have used the roof first. So it just works without any problem. Detecting network hardware, okay. Loading Mr. Firmware. It's not showing up, so I'm gonna skip this one. No. Continue. WLAN or Ethernet. WLAN for is your wireless network and at zero is for your Ethernet connection. So whatever internet connection you have which you want to use on this device uh, right now to connect it to the internet. I'm gonna go with the wireless one. Now it's showing up the internet uh, Wi-Fi networks around this laptop. Mine is matrix. So just type in your password. Now remember this process will wipe your entire hard disk. This is not for making a bootable a dual boot system. It's for just Kali Linux only. So just remember that. I'm just gonna enter the password, whatever password you want. Your entire hard drive will be wiped out and the OS will install over it. I don't have any data over it so I'm not worried about it but if you do have just take a backup or try the dual booting process instead of this one. See this is a process where you can choose if you want to dual boot the system or just uh, use Kali Linux entirely. I'm gonna go with the entire disk. This one is for pen drive and this one TB is my hard disk. I'm gonna continue. All in one partition for me. Okay, I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna just press click on continue. Write changes to disk. Continue. And this is gonna take some time.
now it's installing the system I'm just gonna skip ahead because this may take up to 10 to 20 minutes to get done depending upon your speed of your hard drive so I'm just gonna skip ahead Use a network mirror that is installed in the install. No, we don't want to use a network mirror because it will try to update and download an update from the internet. Starting the grub bootloader. Okay. Yes, continue. Gonna go with this hard disk model, not the pen drive, hard disk SDAA. Now it's finishing the installation, setting the hardware clock and stuff. Solution is complete. Continue. So the installation is done. Now it's rebooting. I'm gonna remove the pan drive just to show you it's installed on the system. And just press enter.
We got the cursor. Just type, type in your username and password to log in whatever you set on the starting. I don't remember what did I set. I think. Yeah. Name was Kali and it didn't work. Root. Username was root because I left it blank, I think. And the password was whatever I set at that time. And it will be according to whatever you. Uh, Rock. So this is it. It's working. The Wi-Fi is connected. Here you have the terminal. This is working too. Let's see when the internet is working. Let's try changing the brightness. That works too. This is the uh, Mozilla browser that comes with Kali Linux. and the internet is working so this is it and subscribe to the channel